Hey, what's going on guys? DJS here. Wanted to show you guys some of the kicks available around stores in my area. This one obviously is all from the Nike employee store. Um, really, really lucky I was able to go there again. And these ones they had in both colors, the original, like this one and the mesh ones. Um, and they're 60 bucks each for any of those Air Maxes. Crazy prices. Uh, obviously, I bought the LeBrons. If you didn't see, check the previous videos for 140 um, fortunately, some of the pictures are really blurry. I apologize, but these ones were 58, I believe, as well as these um, KDs, 58 bucks. And then moving on, you can see that they had some Kobe eights here. Uh, not all sizes, but they had um, a decent size run uh, for uh, 70 dollars. The KD elites, which I just sent to Nightwing uh, for 100 dollars, they had both, all, or excuse me, all three colorways of the Hyper Flights. Uh, again, sorry about the fuzzy uh, quality pictures. I just about bought the middle ones, but I didn't end up getting them. 75 bucks each for those. And then just some miscellaneous um, kicks as well, some some dunks, some woven dunks. And I actually really like these dunks too. For 40 bucks, $42, you couldn't have really gone wrong. But then, of course, you have the Bugs Bunny 8s. Look at the size runs. They had so many of them in. It was ridiculous. But transitioning over, this is what I found at Ross. They actually had the Shark 7 Kobe's here. Um, $59, not bad. But uh, it was they only had a couple of them available, but still couldn't believe they actually had them at Ross. People were letting me know that they had the elites uh, from last year's series at Ross for like sixty bucks or or less. It was crazy, man. I don't know, um, but I'm just showing you some miscellaneous shoes. These ones are only seventeen dollars, and of course they're really ugly, but uh, they're like track shoes. And just for you guys that actually play more sports than just basketball, sometimes I think it's actually good to go check out Ross and stuff like that because they do have uh, kind of the niche shoes um, on occasion. Like these ones are are track and field. Um, shoes, and if you need good, good like cheap track shoes, it's a nice way to go. Um, I actually did track and field um in, in high school myself. They had some hyper dunks here as well. They were I think fifty bucks or something like that. I can't remember what the uh, the the tags say, but sometimes it's fun to go and check out your local like Rosses and TJ Maxx and stuff. I personally like doing that stuff. If you guys, um, I wouldn't be ashamed of going into those type of stores. I had to shop in those stores when I was in high school a lot because I didn't have a lot of money. Avias, these things were nuts to me because I remember um, the Vias from back in the day, the the arcs and stuff, the arc systems, and um, Clyde Drexler ran with Avias. I didn't even know they had them anymore, so I was like, of course these were just unbelievably horrible looking, but I was like, they still make Avias though. I was I was pretty darn impressed with that. Then I just took some miscellaneous weird pictures, like what the heck are these? Uh, these ones are again at Ross, and I was just like, I have no idea what these are, Fila, uh, but they're they're twenty dollars. Um, Back to the multi-sport thing again. They had some baseball cleats. These ones actually look like pretty good quality if you um, played baseball. I don't know much about the uh, the baseball shoes, but they were there. Also, they had some Adidas. These were a signature shoe of some sort, but I don't know much about Adidas at all. You guys can probably tell me in the comment sections uh, which one these ones were. But uh, but yeah, they were. I mean, they look decent. Um, I like the fact that they're all black and stuff, so that that helped. And you can see the signature right there. I don't I don't know who it is. I can't. Howard is it Dwight Howard? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, these ones are another um, kind of a, a Chuka boot, if you will, like uh, of Adidas. I actually really like these ones, and, and you can't really tell from the pictures, but the quality of the leather inside actually was pretty soft, pretty nice for like thirty something dollars, um, and just a clean all around shoe. If if uh, if I say so myself. Uh, I, I don't have any Adidas yet, but uh, I'm working on it with some of my friends that work over at Adidas, trying to have them hook me up. But uh, anyway, there's that. And then you can see this was another uh, famous footwear or something like that. I went there just to see what they had. It's interesting to see that they have all kind of knockoff versions of or the cheaper versions of the, the popular shoes that we all see out there like like these ones. I like this colorway, though. But just kind of a quick overview for you guys of some of these kicks. There's a couple more pictures. Look at these guys. These are just wild. For, this is Asics and stuff. And there's a, uh, another one. 130, though. I was like, dang. Look at you, A6, with your crazy colors and designs. Kind of actually like those. They're kind of wild. Um, and then just random ones just on sale here. But uh, but that's pretty much all we got. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick video. And uh, let me know what you guys think. And if you guys had any um, video responses, feel free to post them. Peace, guys.